Yeah. But more importantly, we're dealing with some real characters on the screen. Uh, Ouch. Going to <laughs> going to Battlefield. Three, two, this is going to allow all of these characters to just kind of uh, button check. Got to make sure I can Falcon Punch, you know. My B button might be broken. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, no. Uh, Smash 4 is an incredibly technical game, so you always have to make so many just movements per second. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Got to make sure everything's working just top. Yeah. Tip top shape. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, get dunked on. And that was game number one. No, I'm just yeah. It's not game number one. Yeah, let's make that joke. It's like, yeah. game number one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, I don't think we're going to see Battlefield game number one. We could. Um, the thing is, is that like so all these characters are so well there, yeah. Mm -hmm. All these characters, yeah, we're going to Battlefield game oh, one. Okay. All right, I guess it's going to be one of those anything you can do, I can do better type situations here. Let's see what under uh, goes underway here. Yep, all these characters just going to try to get the other one on one of those platforms, just kind of shark underneath. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, I like the uh, the falling up air uses here. Again, gets another falling up air. Gets to turn around forward smash. I think he was actually looking to be uh, faced the other way. Oh my god, he had to throw that up yeah, for dear life. Definitely almost got dunked on. Now Luma is already gone. In fact, one of the, like, the kind of worries about doubles is the fact that like, there's so much going on, so many hitboxes getting thrown out. Mm -hmm. Luma can just get lost in the shuffle. That is very true on a stage like this, so we have quite a bit of room to work with, I feel, but unfortunately not enough room for you to make it from that blast zone. So back to the legend stage. You are out of the picture, buddy. Okay, good stuff. If you up here to space him out, Captain Falcon not really known for his range, more for his mobility. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the empty hops there right on the right side of the stage. We're trying to stick it to J Brock here. Yeah, nice follow by Dr. B right there. He saw that J Brock was going to go to that top platform and he was right in his face. Wow, and she's probably just dunking Luma to her untimely demise. Get out of here. Unfortunately, that does not count for the stops, but it'll make it a whole lot easier to get off Rosalina's. That is true. Okay, gets the, uh, gets the follow away PK fires. I like yeah. what he's doing here. Not really looking to go off stage versus Rosalina and Luma. Just looking to keep her at base and can try to force a 2 v one situation. I think we all know by now that Ness and Lucas off stage versus Rosalina is just not a good spot to be in at all. Oh, definitely not. Uh, she's smaller. Almost losing his stock right there from his partners. Oh, well. You know, and I say time and time again, when it comes to edge guarding, you don't even have to go off stage and land an attack. Just the fact that you're out there and you're showing your opponent that you're not going to let them come back for free could really make all the difference. And that was a prime situation right there. Just kind of jumped off, forced him to use his up special a little bit too early, and that just unfortunately sealed the deal on his fate. Yeah, that or just throw out that giant near the cloud has been an extremely just versatile edge guard. Mm -hmm. They had like, completely invalidate some characters' recovery. Okay. Smash, beautiful stuff there. Cheese bar looking to extend that combo there. Oh, gets the up throw. Mm, still coming into play. Yeah, definitely. Still not quite enough. Oh, gotta watch your feet though. Looking to land that down smash. Beautiful stuff. Gets the short hops there right into the dash attack. You are out of here. Yeah, that was clean. Now they can somehow find a way here to get the stock off of Captain Falcon. Uh, situation. Like it's getting to the point to where it looks like the matchup between Lucas and Rosalina, like speaking strictly for singles, isn't necessarily that bad. You see players like the Buzz uh, have some like losses to uh, PK Blueberry mm -hmm. and even Cheese Baller, like with the Rosalina Lucas matchup. So it looks like that Lucas is doing a wonderful job just kind of splitting up the Luma. Just taking care of that Rosa. And that's uh, the name of the game, fighting a character like Rosalina and Luma, is that you have to figure out a way to get in between Rosalina and Luma as safely as possible. And I know it's a task in itself to handle, but if you can make it happen, um, you know, it, it'll just really make not only singles, but doubles too. Your experience just a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, well, Cloud's dead. Yeah, see you later, man. And it looks like, okay. I didn't yeah. know if he was looking to commit suicide. I mean, he still had two stocks there. Yeah, no, no. He was just kind of like waiting to where to just get some breathing room and going that deep so Rosalina couldn't just like go all the way down there and just steal it. Yeah, because her dare hitbox is just incredible. Like, it's either going to spike or going to send you clear off to the left or right. Like, you don't want to be touched by it either way. Yeah. Oh, heck, gravity pull itself is almost like half 
half of uh, Battlefield. Mm -hmm. The hitbox is ridiculous. Okay. She's falling really struggling right now here. Giant uphill battle. Back row. Good stuff. Gets the up air. So very nice and safe combos. Cheese Bar has a lot of ground to make up. He's probably just going to stay away, try to use those uh, side beams. Going for grabs whenever he notices that the other player oh. can't come in to interrupt. Yeah, don't touch me, he said. Good stuff. They're giving himself that coverage needed to get back on the center stage. Find himself in the air this time. Okay, gets the short hop up here. Not being able to stop this bleeding here. Oh! This is getting very, very tense. Okay, good uses there of your uh, tether grab. I think uh, I think the opposing side was definitely expecting a PK Thunder back to the stage. Nonetheless, the turnaround forward smash there. Yeah, very Vaughn swinging for the fences over here. There it is, man. Just slowly but surely chiseling away at this lead. Oh, it's going to be even harder, man, when you can't land. He was out of a jump there that time. How to land with an aerial. The blue team get a solid read on that and punish it. They can close this one out and move on to the next game. Okay. He's just trying to create whatever space that he can. And whenever one of the others, like, they're off stage or something from that PK fire, it looks like he's just going to try to go for a grab or something. Oh! Committing a little bit too hard. Yep. They committed kind of hard there that time. Um... I think there comes a point in time at the end of a set, especially in doubles, where you're like, okay, I need to yeah. figure out something. I got to figure it out fast, man. I'm, I'm in a deficit. Obviously, I'm probably going to have a lot of percentage more times than not if you're stuck in a 2v1. What can I do? I do like the fact they started using the PK fire, really baited the opponents in. He even found an opening for like a forward smash attempt, too. Oh, yeah. Um, but it just unfortunately was a little too late. But we do have the next game where they can try to, you know, collect themselves and figure things out. Yeah, I think it didn't help that uh, Biscuit basically realized that he could just start gravity pulling them mm -hmm. as well because he did it. And then you just kind of saw that shit from Cheese Ball. He was like, mm -hmm. oh, he's going to just start gravity pulling them then. And I can't do anything about that. And then the minute he rolled, his teammate came in. His teammate received a very, very huge punish. So he could have been conditioning the uh, the blue team there that time. Mr. Game and Watch. Okay, well, we got a Mr. Game and Watch. Yep. Right. Yeah, J Bok, uh, basically known for being a Game and Watch mm -hmm. main. Yeah. Uh, generally going Cloud simply because, you know, Cloud's really good in doubles. Doubles, yeah. Uh, but Three, going to go for this combo two, oriented character. A little bit on the light side, though. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Almost scared me there for a second. Look like an SD. Okay, good stuff there. I'm just saying that uh, just like Fox, Captain Falcon kind of receives a similar fate out there off stage. And uh, the back air from Game of Watch is a very, very strong move. Not only in extending combos, but closing out stocks as well. And it lasts so long. Yeah. That's the thing. You know where Falcon is going to try to recover. Now just throwing out these hitboxes over here. Falcon going off stage. You were wanting to see some edge guarding right here. J Bok is going to do it. That's the thing about that game and watch. He gets so much just distance from that upbeat to where it allows J Bok to where he just goes crazy off stage. Oh, for sure. Okay, good stuff there. Don't touch me. Gets the red sparks, but not quite enough to close the stock out. Uh, this man trying to pull the Nintendo 64. Oh my god, that gives that man the 2 2. Beautiful stuff. Okay, looking for the uh, the up air from up underneath. They're really sharking from below. As you get caught up there on that top platform. You really have to make sure your team synergy on a stage like Smash Bros. Chris, because there's not a, a lot of room to breast out the two 1v1s, you know? Yeah, the stage is one of the smallest uh, legal stages in the game. So you're going to have to learn how to just be fighting elbow to elbow. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about before, that back air lasts forever, but unfortunately, Rosalie and Luma stocks do not. Oh my god, the down tilt sending him clear into the blast zone, but still not quite enough. And unfortunately, has to marry Poppins to his demise. This man looking like a, paras a parachute trooper just slowly going down. Yeah. Okay. Dash attacks going to separate some very, very briefly there. Meanwhile, gets himself kind of caught in the 2v1. And as you know. Thinking. Yeah, for sure. And as you know, man, uh, at low percents, Captain Falcon hits you with a dash attack. The best believe he's probably going to hit you a few more times after that. Especially if you mess up at just D-I-N, mm -hmm. you're in a, for a world of hurt. Okay, short hops there. Good uh, uses of that. That's kind of like his uh, key to getting in, you know, to the door that is Rosalina and Luma. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, good Ooh, stuff there. Him. Yeah, he had, he had to foot school his way out of that situation because you knew, you knew what J-Brock was looking for. 
not packing the power of the PK Flash, but it's really going to just sort of immobilize the other player and taking that stock from the Falcon. Mm -hmm. and now, this is, you know, J-Bock and Chief Baller are finally up a stock. Just yeah, it looks like they're starting to fill themselves just a little bit more here, especially as the green team kind of comes up on their later percents. They're going to tap into some rage here. And though both of these two characters on the green team are known for, like, their good team comp, especially a uh, character like Lucas, man. I mean, if you throw anybody into him, he's just going to short hop there and keep the combo going. Oh, they yeah. do have some strong tools at closing out stocks. That move extremely potent for combos, especially if you don't SDI out of it. Rosalina trying to be as careful as she can. Uh, it's to the point to where Lucas just has three kill throws, but doesn't he have to worry about it? Throwing out as many smash attacks as he can. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another smash attack right there. But of course, that was on his teammate that time. J Brock looking to swing for the fence, throwing out the, uh, throwing out the hammer, possibly looking for a nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, what other one would you be looking for? I don't know. There is one. I think it's six to where it just sends him, like, down oh, diagonally. Yeah. True. Yeah. And that's the really doom for Falcon. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets the run in and out. Meanwhile, she's probably getting the home run swing there right on Luma. Luma, out of the pixels, makes some magic happen here. Good awareness there. Does he? Okay, almost kills his teammate. That was so great, because more times than not, Game Watch gets that grab, he's going to look for a follow. That was so great to have that presence of mind just to shield. Uh oh, yeah, he's he's toast. Yeah, and, uh, sitting at 108%, that straight back air, one of Falcon's like best killing moves in general. Okay, good stuff there. Conditioned him to recover high that time with the jab, ran right up to the right side of the stage. And then throughout that up smash, you do not want to trade with that at all. Yeah, no, you cannot land on game one. That move has just such great vulnerability. Where it covers his head, it covers his foot. Mm -hmm. It's just giant. This man is putting on a scuba helmet for goodness sakes. There you go. Oh my oh, god. No. Why would you do that? This is not a good situation to be in at all. Now this is still a very doable matchup for uh, Lucas, mm -hmm. you know, versus Rosalie. I know a lot of people probably think that Lucas probably just gets bopped. Well, Rosalina, it's strange. Like you see, uh, like it's tools. a little bit earlier, but you see like the buzz losing to PK Blueberry at What the Fox Do, mm -hmm. which is like you know a year ago, and losing a game as Rosa to Cheese Baller, uh, playing Lucas. So he knows the matchup fairly well. Oh my God, a read of a lifetime there. That was so great. Yeah, yeah, that was crisp. Straight Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, closing out that stock. I almost thought the PK fire right before that was actually going to be enough to do it. You know, Rosalina and Luma, very, very light character. I believe she's like fifth, I, I think. Yeah, something game. like Some, that. She's really top light. Five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the definitely. PK fire uh, from Lucas having like a surprisingly amount of knockback, mm -hmm. uh, especially like near the blast zone, to where he can just simply snipe you. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very, very good finish there for the uh, the green team there that time. But let's see what happens here in the next game. Um, like we talked about before, we could get some character switches. That's one of the great things about doubles is that, you know, each character kind of shifts the dynamic and just kind of shifts how everything goes. And uh, with that being said, uh, we could get the Clout coming back out here. Clout, character that does very well versus Captain Falcon and Rosalina. Um, but it looks like he's really comfortable right now with the Game of Watch, but the oh. Charizard comes out. Yes, yeah, switching to Charizard, an interesting choice considering how much of a big body Charizard is. Mm -hmm. Like he's just gonna be getting comboed and everything, but he's gonna live a lot longer. That may cause them to focus him a lot harder because his stocks mean so much more. That they do, and on Rage means quite a bit for heavies and doubles because heavy characters is the archetype. Um, you know, they kind of force you to press buttons and when you mess up, you can kiss your stock or your life bar, whatever type of fighting game it is, goodbye. Oh yeah, it's like just think of that back air that Charizard has. Like enough to where, you know, enough Rage and he's on the ledge, he'll kill Game & Watch like 50, you and know, Lucas at 60. I agree, and I do appreciate the switch to Charizard. Um, one thing that a lot of people struggle with when they pick heavy characters is movement. Obviously, they're going to have a lighter character in their arsenal that they're going to move a little bit better with as opposed to the heavy character. But how he was moving Rosalina, if he can apply some of that to this Charizard, he'll be sitting in the money. Oh, yeah, and Charizard had some really, uh, he just has a really good run speed as well. Mm -hmm. He's so quick, yes. he just closes in on you. He doesn't get too much like out of that run, but... What the heck? I'll see you later, Charizard. Return. Yep. Get back in his Pokeball immediately. And he really wants that back air as bad as ever. But one thing I have come to find out is that, you know, back at home, we do have a, a Charizard made by the name of Kit. And then I've also played friendlies with Silent Doom in the past. Charizard has some low percent Kung Fu. Good stuff. They're recovering as quickly as possible. His teammates are giving him that overhead coverage he needed. 
something as simplistic as backer is enough just to give him, you know, that sight back to the stage he needs. He's going to throw Lucas into his partner. That seems like a wonderful throw to just kind of like follow up things on. So he doesn't get sent uh, at low percents, very high up. And trying to spike him, but the PK Thunder just kind of powering through. Yeah, I do like the tempo. Good situation awareness. Just nice presence of mind to really try to find an opening there. Oh, my God. And then ends up taking a stock there off his teammate that loses one himself. Yeah, this is just a straight slobber. Not a, you see bodies flying everywhere from strong attacks. Yeah, understand that this next game is really going to determine a lot. You know, theoretically, you know, the person that's going to win this game is more than likely the one that's going to uh, win the set. Oh, the stuff they're using to flank throw the forward air right off stage, though. I guess we get, is that slash attack? I, I'll call it slash attack, oh, yeah, the man. Slash, it's, it's close enough. That's slash metal attack. Metal claw, whatever. Yeah. I got Pokemon on the brain, man. Play Soul <laughs> Silver on the way up here. Oh, yeah, and Pokemon's oh, yeah. out as well. Oh, man, don't get me started, man. I got a lot of gaming to do when I get back home. Mm -hmm. Let me catch the Crow Gun. <laughs> If there's a setup here, we can make it happen. Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Stuff smash cheese bar might be out of a uh, out of a jump there. Nonetheless, the just the, the simplistic jab sending them off. But speaking of getting sent it uh, sent to the blast zone, man. Yeah. Team Captain Falcon just blasting off again. Just that hand reaches right above that lift of the stage. Mm -hmm. Just brought the hammer down, baby. Yeah, that's a fate that uh you know characters like Little Mac and Ryu also suffer from as well. You know that high recovery just really really hurts them. Okay. Oh wow, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that was so close. Since at a really good angle and look at the footwork! Here's an up smash. Captain Falcon's in for a lot of trouble here if he cannot land this knee. Such an easy character to combo. Good stuff there getting a the fast fall back here. That's the thing, Game Watch is a extreme <laughs> combo character. Oh get man, out of here! This man hit him with the nine! Hit him with the nine! Hit him with the nine, man. Call 911. He is out of the picture. Game of Watch, the character to do it. Get him out of here, man. That was Put crazy. This man out into a body bag. Wasn't even true. You could have air dodged. You could have air dodged. He could have, man. But I think he got thrown for a loop when he tried to land in the 2 2 win box, kept oh, yeah. him in the air. He was like, What is happening to yeah. me right now? Where is my Uber driver taking me? Game of Watch said, I'm actually taking you to the blast zone. Hey, you're friend. never expecting it either. You're like, Oh, no, he's surely not going to go for a down throw nine. He's not going to hit a nine. Mm -hmm. And then. Boom. And, you know, Captain Falcon getting a little taste of his own medicine because, as you know, he has a lot of combos out of down throws as well. So uh, now he's he shoots kind of on the other foot. Things definitely starting to heat up here. Game number uh, three there goes to Jay Brock and Cheese Baller. Charger just throwing that immense power that he has at F Smash. It's a wonderful tool for straight up killing. Okay, gets the uh, jab there. The jab, not really looking to find a combo, even though Charizard can definitely do that. Kind of just looking to keep him in the middle. That way, him and Captain Falcon can keep those team combos going. But one thing that Charizard really felt victim to in the last game that I noticed on was the combo potential that the green team brings to the table. But speaking of that, that was like those combos, he can break out of it with the upbeat. Uh, has super armor starting at about frame three or four. And it puts him up, even though they can real. This man, that flare blitz. Is this 3DS smash? What's going on, man? 150 <laughs> base power does recoil. <laughs> Haven't seen flare careful. blitz in a long time. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful out there. There's another one. He said, bucket this, my yep. friend. <laughs> Bodies are flying. Okay, good stuff there. Jay Brock kind of giving his, uh, his teammate the cushion. He needs to land, gets the knee, though. Wow, he said that's for the last game. So much damage and so much knockback, it's satisfying to hit. Mm -hmm. You never feel bad if you hit that knee. Yeah, it definitely gets the, it gets the crowd on your side too, which is one of those hidden meta techniques that can force you to win a game or the spike from Charizard can do it. This man hit him with the stomp. Stocks are flying here left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, red team looking to retreat right now. Green team very much in a deficit. Wow, and it's crazy to see how strong that they finished that last game. To see them kind of struggle here really, really hurt. Yeah, it looks like a switch has just been turned on. Oh, yeah. Dr. B and Biscuit Spring. Like, they finally figured out, they're like, okay, now I figured out what I need to be doing with Charizard. Just had to warm up a little bit. You know, Charizard and Rosalina play extremely different, especially in doubles. Yes. Sometimes you just got to warm it up. Yeah, two two different roles that they play in doubles as well, too. You know, uh, obviously both characters have the tools to close out stocks a little bit more, but the wall that Rosalina builds up is a little bit better than the one that Charizard can kind of bring to the table. 
Good stuff. One, two, three jabs. Uh, you know, that just goes to show how just vulnerable Captain Falcon is off stage sometimes, but so is Charizard. Up smash, super effective. Charizard out of the building again. Yeah, Charizard needs to be really careful while he's trying to land and maneuver uh, around Game & Watch because it's easy for him to hit him with the head, but killing his own partner. His partner committed. His partner committed too hard. His, his partner is just like, nah, I'm going to have to. And it all comes down to this. Yeah, man, a 2v1 situation right now on cheese bars for half. Let's see if he can try to edge it out like his teammate did in the last game. Jay Brock, fortunately, ended up biting the dust just a little bit too early. Okay. Just to grab right up. That's going to be it. Ash. Yeah, that's, yeah, I was surprised too. I was like, huh. <laughs> we, we take those anyway. Yeah, we take them. <laughs> we take those. A W is a W at the end of the day. Game number five. It all comes down to this. Like we talked about, there really wasn't a lot of team synergy there in those last two games. Just a slobber knocker, like how you put it. Um, you know, basically the team with the most refined team synergy here in game number five is going to be the one to yeah. run away with so this. So I wonder, since we see the Charizard out here, if we're going to see the Donkey Kong from Cheese Baller. We could see the Charizard. We could see the DK. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to see both of those, man. The heavy characters get the crowd hype, no matter what game it is. I mean, hell, oh, yeah. you've seen what Snake Eyes does in Street Fighter. I mean, <laughs> Zanky's <laughs> ass grabs you. You're in for a world of mm -hmm. hurt. They don't even have to be good. No, just as long, yeah, not. as long as you're like good with them. Yeah, and you're throwing people around. Oh yeah, people get hyped. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely gets to cry. And the Twitch chat on their feet. So oh, guys, yeah. if you're in the Twitch Came chat, Came Blue River, home, like yeah, if you guys are in the Twitch chat at home, you guys are enjoying what you guys are watching. Oh, yeah. Make sure you guys let us know in the Twitch chat. Let us know on Twitter as well. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, uh, Biscuit uh, is asking me something. I can't. She's saying, never mind. I can't I can't understand what he's saying. I have headphones on. You got headphones on, man. <laughs> yep, two different jobs, unfortunately. So, yeah. yeah. Let's see what this next game is going to bring. Um, I know both sides are a little hesitant to bust out the character switches here for the most part. Uh, but right as I say that, the DK comes out, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. The Battle of the Heavies yep, has the begun. The Goliaths are out. Yep. Giant bodies. There's going to be just straight-up hitboxes flying everywhere. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what we get here. Game number five. Let's jump right into it on a oh, stage like Town and City. City. Wow. People are going to be done. Oh, especially this poor Game & Watch. He's so light, and these blast zones are so small. Good stuff there. Uh, DK understanding that it's really difficult for him to land. Not really wasting any time. They're throwing out that dare, keeping Captain Falcon's up airs from under him. Oh. OK, everybody's off the ground right now. What's crazy is that all these characters possess the tools needed to kill you off the top. Oh, definitely so. You have the Ding Dong, you have the Up B from Charizard, the Up Air from Charizard. Just all of these moves. Mm -hmm. I think it's the 1-2-3 jab right now. J Brock has to build this wall, really help his teammate come back to the stage. Beautiful air dodge there. Because Donkey Kong does not want to be off stage against Falcon. Mm -hmm. Oh, my! Oh, my goodness! This man, that was straight. The seismic toss. And to the knee, this man. Just when you thought you'd seen it all in doubles, something like this happens. I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. That was beautiful stuff there. Gets the jab. Now let's see what the green team's going to have to do to respond. That's not really fair yeah. on DK. No, DK being such a big body, I mean, that's really easy to do. If I don't get, like, a cargo throw into a nine, I'm going to be really disappointed now. You have to step it up. Yeah, you have got to. My sonic voice. Okay. Good stuff there. I like what Charizard is doing right, ha right here, just building up this wall, kind of staying back in the cut, being that stock tank. The only time you really see him get aggressive is if DK approaches him. As you see right now, goes for the corner right on shield. The and force smash, partner. yeah, from J-Brock, closing him out. And his partner returning it in favor. What is it's like on? a brother, like it's a brotherly thing. Uh, J-Bock and Cheese Baller are brothers, and it's like two brothers fighting right now. He's like, oh, you killed me? Well, screw you, I'm going to kill you yeah, back. Yeah, in Soviet Russia, man, uh, we kill you. <laughs> okay, good stuff there, good. Okay, I like what he did, you know, getting on that top platform as quickly as possible. As you know, those platforms, when uh, Captain Falcon has them, I mean, he can just ex extend yeah, just about Falcon's anything. Dead. Yep, he's almost dead. Kill, yeah. yeah, town and city just coming into play. Okay, back into the money that quick, just one solid conversion, and that's put them back into the running. Okay, yeah, that's not custom DK. You might yeah. want to watch how you toss that one out. You know what yeah, I mean? That is not the Wing Kong. Yeah. Although it does have that super armor, so it just kind of humbles through, just, you know, whatever they throw out. And it can last so long to where people occasionally just, like, let go of shield early. Cheese Baller really struggling to land. The, the upper is really keeping him at bay. Meanwhile, runs right into Charizard's up smash, and it looked like he was trying to catch another one. His. His presence of mind of the stage, especially on where the platforms are, is really what's keeping him alive. Oh, the back wow. air. 
Okay, doesn't quite get the buy one, get one free. Thank God, it just only takes out the opponent, but the very immediate share stock there. Uh-oh, I'll see you later. Yep. <laughs> very quick share stock going tit for tat. And the chants are starting to come out right now, the TKO chants. Yep, you can tell this is Arkansas crowd and Game & Watch is gone. Donkey Kong having to fight for his life. There's the back here that's going to do it. Oh. Looking to get the dare right on top of the up special. As you know, there's no overhead coverage, really. Yeah, this man needs three grabs. Fair. Oh, oh does he get the reset? Did he go okay. For the fair? okay, that was actually crazy. I thought he was actually going to get the reset that time. Beautiful stuff right there by Captain Falcon just getting off of that platform as quickly as possible. He's going to go for that grab. Like, you can see what Cheese Baller is waiting for. Oh, my God. Looking possibly to get the grab right into the fourth throw. Get him off stage. Don't over, ever, over, over, ever, excuse me, overextend a dash attack there. He needs to be careful how he lands on these platforms, especially the way he tags, because Dr. B can just straight up read it and go for that fair. Okay. Let's see, he's going to go for the dare. Ooh, not. Not getting that hitbox just right now. No. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. Now he is. He's oh dead. Oh my God! Falcon is dead. <laughs> this man right here, he got King Kong. Lay straight up. He took him to the tower, took his girl, threw him down. Straight up. There, that's straight up. No, no, no. I need you to give me a water. I need a water from over there. Give, give me, yeah, give me a water. I need a water, man. I need a, I need a water. I don't know what the.